guys! Welcome to the Blood Brothers Q&A, where I will try to answer all of your questions without completely spoiling the plot. Let's see how this works out. First question, why did the father leave? Okay, um, there's really no way to work around this question. <laughs> Basically, he left after Iris got sick. Realizing he didn't want to take care of Cobalt and Aiden, he left before Iris passed away. Yeah, he's not exactly the nicest character. Do Cobalt or Aiden ever get mates in the series further on? Um, I'm not promising that they will, but I'm not promising that they won't. Um, the series, I'm trying to focus it on, you know, the brotherly bond of Cobalt and Aiden. So, having mates in there just doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem necessary for me, but I'm not promising anything. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, so I guess you'll just have to see. <laughs> Why did you start making the series? Um, I think it was for, like, some number of subscribers. I had you guys vote on what I would, what I should do. I had an idea of Cobalt and Aiden, and I couldn't decide exactly what I wanted to do with them. I was going to either make a comic or an AMV, I think, or an animated series. And a lot of you guys were interested in animated series, and I made a preview for Blood Brothers, and I realized how fun it was, so... I just decided to make it, and it was a very good idea. I had a lot of fun making it, and a lot of you guys seemed to like it too, so that's good. What's your favorite character in the series? I'm curious about that. Also, who do you ship in the series? Um, my favorite character would have to be older Cobalt. I know you guys haven't seen any of him yet, but I really just like his character. And for as for who I ship in the series, they're all related, so probably nobody. Here's a fun question, why'd you call older Aiden, well, older, and older Cobalt pubescent? It all started with the casting call. Um, Amber was trying to help me explain the, like, what kind of voices I wanted for Obal Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt and Aiden, and I didn't, I was having trouble explaining Cobalt, and she just threw out the word pubescent, and we thought it was hilarious, so it just kind of stuck. Alright, here's a few. How long has this story been with you? When did you begin to make plans of animating into a series? Actually, the first time I used these guys, or should I say girls, because yes, believe it or not, Cobalt and Aiden were at one point girls. Um, their names were Willow and Olive. I don't know, that was a very terrible stage of the planning session of whatever. It was from their in an MAP. Um, they were in an MAP part. And I don't think I have it on my channel anymore. I deleted it. It was really bad. But if you can see in the background, this is Willow and Olive. Which, should I say the first stage of developing Cobalt and Aiden? Yeah. What is the relationship between Cobalt and Aiden? They seem to be on great terms. Um, yes, they're very close because their mother's been sick. And unlike most wolves who live in packs, Cobalt and Aiden just have each other. So... Being puppies, they play a lot, they, they're they always there for each other, so they're really close. How long has the mother been sick approximately, and what exactly was wrong with her? I'm going to save the last part of that question for a little bit, because I got a lot of those <laughs> questions about that, and I realized I made that unclear, and I apologize. But she's been sick approximately, like, I'd say one or two months. And how old are Cobalt and Aiden? Um... I don't exactly know how to like translate dog years to human years, but I think they're less than a year old, and I think they're actually a little bit less than a year old, and Aiden's like a few months younger than that, so yeah. <laughs> how did you come up with the names? Was it random, or do they have meaning? Um, it wasn't random. Basically, when I first started the idea of making the series, Amber and I, we got on the internet, and we started like googling earth related names because I just thought it'd be really cool to have names with meanings behind them and a lot of them came up I think Aiden came up it meant like little fire or something and I thought that was adorable so I was like of course I have to use Aiden and then cobalt's like a blue green rock or element or something and I thought that was cool and Iris is like the Greek goddess of something and slate I think it's like a rock word or something but yeah, they all had earthy kind of meanings, and I just thought that was cool. So, yeah, that's how I chose them. And here's the question that a lot of you guys asked. What happened to the mother? Okay, so what I originally planned out was the mother having a disease called consumption, and if you don't know what that is, tuberculosis, which I don't know the technical definition, 
but I do know it has to do with your lungs and it can cause coughing up blood. So I tried to demonstrate that. Oh, I'm sorry, I did a terrible job with that. But yeah, the father did not kill her. She died from tuberculosis. She was not pooping blood. Um, she was vomiting, throwing up blood. So <laughs> sorry for not making that clear, guys. What was it like to make Blood Brothers? It was a lot of work, but it was so much fun. And as soon as I got the first episode done, I just like felt so relieved and happy. And it was it was just really fun. If you, any of you guys are considering making an animated series, I highly suggest it. It is so much fun. It's a lot of work, but you'll be happy with the result. So go for it. What happened to their dad and was their mom bleeding to death? Um, he left, like I said in the beginning of the video, he didn't want to have to take care of Cobalt Naden on his own, so he just left, and yes, their mom was bleeding to death, I think that's how that disease works. I should probably do more research on that. Hmm, okay, organ failure. I guess she died of organ failure. Lovely. Okay, um, I think I answered the first two. How many, uh, how many episodes do you think you're going to make? Um... I'm sorry to admit this, it is a mini-series, it's just, I've already came up with the idea of it, and I don't know how to cram it into, like, 20 episodes, so it's gonna be about 5 or 6 episodes. Will you ever collab on the series with another animator? Mmm, I don't think so. It's really fun to make it, and I'm happy with the way it turned out before, so I don't think I'll collab with it, but I will use more voices in the future, so, but no animators. How did you get the patience to do animate five minute video. I can barely finish 30 seconds. Um, well, I definitely didn't do a lot of it at once. It was, it took a long time. I did about a minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, anywhere around there a day, and I just kind of built up on it. Yeah, I don't have the patience to sit down and animate a five minute video right off the bat. It, mm -mm, I'm not that kind of person. It, it took many small sessions, and yeah. Was she hiding the blood so the pups can't freak out? Yes. Um, that's why you saw the leaves and she'd cover them with her tail. That was not poop. Um, sorry. She was trying to cover it up so her pups wouldn't worry. You know, she's always like, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm fine. She doesn't want them to worry, you know? Like, like who would tell your kids that you're dying? Yeah, I just made this really depressing. Moving on. What does the dad look like? I'll just show a picture because I don't know how else to describe it. Here he is. This is actually a picture from the intro of episode 2. I've already got that like 80% done and I might release that if you guys want to see that later on. Alright guys, I think that's all the questions and if there are any more, I'm really sorry if I didn't answer them. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped clarify things up or just entertained you. I don't know. Or if you don't like it. That's cool too, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys!